What's going on, everyone? My name is Kellen. I am a social media and community manager here at Capcom USA. I work on Exoprimal as the community manager for the game, and I'm here joined by... Hey, everybody. I'm Joe. I'm one of the community managers here at Capcom USA, and I work primarily on Monster Hunter, so I'm super excited to get into Exoprimal today to see all the great new content. Uh, and fittingly enough, we're joined by Jono over at Capcom Europe. Jono, would you like to say hello? Hey everyone, how's it going? Yeah, and thank you for the introduction, Joe. Yeah, so I actually work on both Monster Hunter and Exo Primal on the community front over in Europe. So this is like a doubly super awesome stream for me because I get to talk about both games with you. So yeah, really looking forward to diving in. Yeah, and speaking of diving in, we got a ton of new things that have been introduced in Title Update 3. So on top of a 10-player Neo Triceratops fight, uh, we also have the Rathalos, we have a bunch of Monster Hunter themed stuff, we have new maps, we have new exosuits, just a lot to cover. So let's dive in and uh, we'll see where it takes us. Yeah, super excited to get into it. Let's do this. All right, we're back. So we're trying out some different, uh, we're going to try out a few different exosuits this time around. Past All right. Reconstruction initiated. And what's the From one you got on now? So this is Roadblock Beta. I haven't had a ton of time to mess around with this one. I think it is a little more, I think it's a little more PvP focused, but uh, instead of the usual energy shield, like we'll, we'll show it off in a minute, but you basically have like a just more standard size shield here that kind of pops out to the sides. It's really good at damaging, instead of like the normal crowd control you might expect, it's great at countering larger enemies. Uh, so whether that's larger dinosaurs or uh, just enemy players. We'll see if we can get a few. Yeah, it's, it's it's a really interesting take on Roadblock because you know both it, Roadblock is one of our favorite exosuits, both mine and yours, Kellen. And you know, one thing with this one is obviously the shield is physically smaller, so it's not as easy to give as much defensive coverage to your team. But the yeah. trade-off being obviously you you can get up in the dinosaurs or uh, opposing players' faces, build up this bar, and then fire out an energy blast that can do sizable damage and contribute to stun in large dinos. So it's yeah. very satisfying, but a lot more high risk, I find. It's a smaller shield, but you know, it looks sturdy. Yep, a little bit go. more circular. Wait, there's a big blast. There you go. After you use that blast, your shield actually overheats, so you cannot defend yourself while it's on cooldown. So you really have to choose your battles. Um, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, in, in most class-based games, normally when you lock into a class, you can switch until, um, you know, you either die or in between matches, but you know, the cool thing about Extra Primal is you can switch at any time, which I've always really appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. With 24 Exo suits now to choose from, being able to change at pretty much any time is is wonderful. Like, you know, your tactics can change on the fly. And of course, because you never exactly know what you're going to face in any match you go into, um, it's nice to be able to, yeah, to, to change, whether that's PV, PVP, you know, T-Rex comes out of nowhere or a Triceratops, you know, it's nice to be able to, to pivot. And for those that, you know, haven't seen them yet, we have um, Deadeye Beta Energy MG, and there's also Skywave Beta Lifeline. And yeah, this is a 10 player co-op uh, final mission. So your former rivals have become friends, frenemies maybe, and yep. you now have a shared mission to complete together where you either win together or you lose together. Um, and obviously because there's 10 of you, it means the game can throw even more dinosaurs at you <laughs> at once. Talking of 10 player missions, obviously the Rathalos 10 player co-op boss fight. Yes, you'll be physically fighting Rathalos in Exo Primal. Now, Joe, obviously, you know, as one of the Monster Hunter community managers, you know, you know a fair bit about Rathalos. So for those Exo fighters that have yet to do some hunting, what tips would you give them for fighting against Rathalos, the King of the Skies? Yeah, I would. I would assume you got to watch out for the uh, the signature uh, tail swipe, the turn that it always does mm -hmm. when it gets into the air and tries to kind of just like flip over and hit you with the tail. That's another um, very signature Rathalos move. And obviously, you know, I assume it's the same in Exo Primal, but you, know, you got to go for the head. Yep. Yep. It. it there's a lot of fire everywhere as well, and obviously, as you know, fire is not good for your exosuits' well-being. <laughs> so very much watch out for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah, don't don't get hit by the fire. Um, and then talking to Monster Hunter, who's this, Joe? Oh, that's that's our boy Rajang. Love it. This is my favorite uh, <laughs> favorite that's skin that I've, I've I've seen <laughs> so far, at least. <laughs> it literally, you've become destruction incarnate. 
um, on one of our tank exosuits. So this is actually on the base roadblock exosuit. Um, yeah. And yeah, you can become Rajang. All of the emotes work. Um, <laughs> it, it just looks incredible. You know, you punch the, the dinosaurs, just like Rajang would be punching you in Monster Hunter. Um, <laughs> he's just doing what he loves. You know, Rajang is always so angry in Monster Hunter, but I, I didn't know that they were chill like this, you know? They like to dance, they like to pose, they like to have a well-done steak on their shield. <laughs> Damn. Um, it's, it's really something else. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, Kellen, this is total chaos right here. Oh yeah, this, this is, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is this is. Uh, we haven't talked about this much. This is one of the story missions that you'll get as you progress through the story of the game. So we haven't talked about the story too much, but that's because a lot of it's a, like a mystery that you're unfolding as you play. So much of the game story is kind of delivered through these bits and pieces that you unlock as you play. So you get these uh, bits of lost data, and as you get those lost data, those pieces of lost data, oh, I'm stuck. Oh, yeah, you don't there really be there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just cornered over there. Yeah, as you get those pieces of lost data, you'll start to unfold like different little bits and pieces of like what's going on. But it won't be all at once. Uh, so you might find like, oh, here's a mystery about Bikatoa Island. Here's you know some pieces of information about Leviathan. Uh, you know, and that starts to lead into why is Leviathan running the war games? You know, why are, why is Leviathan summoning dinosaurs? Uh, you know, all these different pieces start to come together. It forms a larger map that helps uh, your character Ace. Uh, get off this island, uh, Bikata Island, along with the camera heads, but also explains why you're doing this to begin with, why you're, you're stuck in these this seemingly endless loop of war games, uh, you know, why there's so many other exo fighters out here, too. This boss fight in particular is something that's pretty late into the game. Partway through. Part way uh, through. There's a couple of different encounters. Uh, there's different types of encounters, like this one is... More of a gauntlet than anything. Like mm. obviously, you got a bunch of different dinosaurs that you have to fight. A bunch of different neosaurs. Which are these um, dinosaurs have been changed by their by their travel through time. Uh, but you also have encounters that are just like ten v one, like you know, kind of what you would think of in a boss battle, right? Like like a giant neo T Rex. And like, what's really interesting, like the community described them as like raid battles, kind of like the, how you have to fight them as well. So it's really cool to kind of see the community kind of give them like raid boss moniker, um, just to kind of give you an idea of like the scope and the attacks and the scale of those fights when it is 10 against one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that is gonna wrap it up for us here today. Thank you all for watching. Uh, any parting words, Joe? That no, was just really awesome to see all the content. I mean, obviously we didn't see all of it. There's quite a bit in uh, Free Tile Update 3. Uh, I'm super pumped to go back and play some more Exo Primal. Uh, and also just experience all the content that's been added with every update because there's just been so much stuff that we, we covered today. Very um, true. Yeah. Uh, Jono, any parting words for yourself? Yeah, enjoy the content. You know, we've got four new beta variant exosuits, two new 10-player co-op boss fights, one being the Neo Triceratops, the other obviously being Rathalos as part of the Monster Hunter collab. There's the new jungle map. There is new uh, new rig. There's new modules. There's so much to get stuck into. So, yeah, good luck against Rathalos. Happy hunting. And uh, watch out for those fire attacks. We'll see you next time and uh, enjoy. <laughs>